Verse 18. Turn to me, you're passing the scripture. In Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. Make it just as white as snow. Snow white tonight. How about that? Some of you are going to drift off to, into Disney, Walt Disney and things. But I want to talk about something else here tonight. Make it as white as snow. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. If you have it, you can say amen. amen. He said, Come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Amen. He said, Come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Isaiah, in Isaiah chapter 6, Isaiah, there's, the Bible reads something like this. It says, A king by the name of Uzziah had died. But he said he saw the Lord sitting upon the throne, high and lifted up, sitting upon the throne, and his train had filled the temple. It seemed like a man, a king had died, but quickly how his eyes did shift from the earthly into the heavenly realm, and there he saw the Lord who was still upon the throne. I'd like to say this as well. Sometimes when we live down here in this world, we need to take our eyes off the things that which are around us, and we need to seek those things which are above. While Isaiah was much in prayer, no doubt, he got a glimpse of the portals of glory opened up, and he still saw, a, while a king had died, the king still lives. Amen. He will not tonight be dethroned. He will not be. He does not have to worry about electoral votes or anything like that. Amen. I'm talking about a kingdom tonight. Unlike America, thank God for it. We live in a land of democracy, and we're glad to we thank God for that, the freedom we have, and be able to express ourselves in the vote. And thank God for that, but well as we are also as a child of God. I'm not only a citizen of America, but I'm also been born again, bought by the blood of Jesus Christ, and I'm a citizen of heaven tonight, and I am a child of the King, and where there's a King, there is surely a kingdom as well. And I pray what the Lord pray, thy kingdom come, and thy will be done. Amen. But the King will still be up on the throne. Isaiah pointed out some things when he looked around and some signs spiritually was going on within his day. Looked like times of times of uncertainty and many people threatened and things looked like they're losing control. I say to the Lord, he looked a little bit higher and when he saw him still up on the throne, he realized that God's still in control. Amen. I say, wouldn't it be good tonight as well? He not only saw it on the throne, but he said he's high and lifted up. I say, wouldn't it be good as well the church? I say, if we'll lift him up on high and give him glory that's due to his name and praise him. Hey! 
And he would like none of that. He would like you to sit there and shut up and be still. But if you'll just open up your mouth, and because the Bible says, I believe I read in Psalm 22, that God inhabits the praise of His people. And whenever we begin to praise Him, and we exalt Him, and lift Him up, and make Him Lord and King. Amen. We are His children, right? And the same way when you see those in royalty, they will put them upon their shoulders like that in the Old Testament when they carried the ark and the priest would carry that ark. It's the same way He is to be head. He is to be above us and not below us. A lot of folks want to put God down here with man's level, but He is greater than Proclaim the word of God. Be instant in season, out of season. 
season, reprove, rebuke, and exhort, but preach the Word of God. Not your opinions, not your so-called church doctrine, but I say preach the Word of God. Favor or compromise the unadulterated word of the living God. 